Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. This tutorial is meant to be a winter queen frost fairy type inspired look. Yeah. <laughs> and it's part of a really awesome collaboration with two of my favourite YouTubers here. Mm -hmm. Amazing makeup artists. These two beautiful, wonderful girls. I'll pop their names in there. We've got High Strawberry. Wonderfully, wonderfully um, skilled makeup artist. She's so good at getting fine details and just doing the most perfect makeups that you, you can't find flaw in and the amazing insomnia extreme which i've watched for years and years and years such a talented person really 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 unique ideas she has and just blows me away every time and i'm, I'm completely honored to be in this collaboration these two girls asked me um to take part in this collaboration a long long time ago i said yes and thank you girls so so much for asking me to do it it was an honour. And their makeups are also winter and ice inspired. That was the whole idea of this collaboration. Um, so yeah, so I'll flash on the screen after this and the girls' makeups as well. Definitely check them out because they're amazing and their looks are just phenomenal. So yeah, so if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So I'm going to start off by blocking out my eyebrows. So I'll pop a link here to a tutorial that I've done in the past to teach you guys how to block them out just so I can save some time up in this video. So I'm going to block them out and get back to you. So there we are, so I've already powdered my eyebrows just to make them extra set and yeah. So then uh, I'm going to take some Snazaroo Clown White and that's what I'm going to use for my foundation. But I'm only going to cover my eyebrows for now just because I like doing my makeup before the foundation so if there's any fallout I can fix it. Then I'm just going to powder that with some Ben Nye Setting Powder in Super White. And I've also gone over my eyelids as well with the Clown White. So then I'm going to take my Sugar Pill Pro Palette and I'm going to use a dark blue. I'm going to use the Velocity by Sugar Pill. And I'm going to use a sharp angle brush and just do a really, really, really sharp cut crease that's slightly winged out. So there we are, so I've left a really really neat edge on the inside where the cut crease is and I've blended it up just a slightly over my brow bone, just where my natural brows blocked out basically. I've left this big gap here because I'm going to be doing a really strong winged eyeliner to join that in, but that's the shape I've gone for. So there you are, so when you're done it should look like that. Yeah. So then I'm going to take a Barry M Dazzle Dust in number 4, which is basically a really 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 fine gorgeous um, silver glitter, and I'm just going to use that on the inside of my eyelid here. just up until where the blue stops. I just think it'll make it look a bit more glamorous, shiny and, I don't know, wintry I suppose. Nice and shiny. <laughs> I think I was a magpie in a previous life, I just like shiny things. So then I can work on the eyeliner. So I'm not going to use a black, I'm going to use a Snazaroo watercolour in royal blue, but I'm not going to use any water, I'm just going to use it on its own neat because it does come out really nice and creamy and yeah, you get a really nice dark shade and I just think it will go nicer with the blue rather than black. So yeah, so I'm going to do a, quite a thick line on my top lash line and I'm going to wing it out really strongly. So I think Angie Winehouse. That kind of wing I'm going to go for, yeah. <laughs> So there we are, so I took that um, same blue that I'll use for the wing there and I just joined it on the underside only halfway of the eyeshadow of the crease just to make it look a bit darker and to blend the wing in a little bit more. Yeah, so then I'm going to do that on the other eye. So yeah. <laughs> so then I'm going to take the same um, blue watercolour and an angle brush and I'm going to draw on my uh, blue eyebrows that I want to have. So I'm going to make them quite arched as you know me, I love doing them arched brows um, so <laughs> I'm going to start it just as my, where my natural, lash, natural brows start and then arch it way way up so just think very very angry drag queen brows when you're doing this and you should be fine So then I can just apply the Snazaroo Clown White all over my face and is I'm going to do my neck and chest in that last I think So there we are, and I've already powdered everything with the um, Ben Nye setting powder. And then I can just continue the eyeliner again with the um, Royal Blue, and I'm just going to use that, use that just underneath my eye, and I'm not going to go straight to the tear duct, I'm just going to veer off a tiny little bit and leave this whole area here open. So the lashes I'm going to use are 127 lashes by Eldora. They're basically really, really, really 
thick me well they're medium length thick uh, lashes really gorgeous lashes so I'm gonna apply those to my top set and then I can apply some on the bottom and the lashes I'm gonna use on the underside are gonna be these generic they're unbranded uh, medium lashes so nothing too big so then I'm gonna do something I don't know I suppose you could be cheating a little bit but uh, <laughs> basically uh, at Christmas I bought loads of these little um, snowflakes in different sizes that I could stick on my walls and I thought they were like really cute and I'm really insane like that, I like Christmas so um, but yeah I decided to buy some more and use them as stencils so yeah they're just little snowflakes like that I'm, I'll pop a link in the description bar below if you want to use unless you're really good at drawing them and cutting them out but I'm terrible so I'm going to use these as a stencil and the idea is I'm going to hold them against my face and use a powder over the top of them so I can get some snowflake imprints I it might be quite cute they're not particularly sticky they're just you peel them off and then they stay in place so I'm going to leave it on really gently and then powder over the top of it and I'm just going to do a few random places first so uh, when I've got one down, I'm going to take the eyeshadow that I want to use, which is going to be the After Party, the Light Blue by Sugar Pill, that one there. And I'm, the idea is I'm going to have it these um, snowflakes in a pattern where I'm going to do my contouring. So across my cheekbones and just around my temples. So I can take a fluffy brush and just brush it really lightly over the top, not heavily. And then fingers crossed when I pull it away. Yeah. I just thought that might be a little cute idea. <laughs> so I'm going to do that all the way down my cheekbones and across the of my temples using different size snowflakes as I go. I'm going to try and keep them as symmetrical as I can as well. Okie dokie, so I ended up going a bit more creative with it and did a big one there, so I don't know how much of it you're going to see because I've got I made a big headpiece, so I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to neaten it up now with um, some white eyeshadow by um, Sugar Pill just to blend it in a tiny bit more. Then I'm just going to use some medium diamonds, just regular stick on diamonds I've got at a craft store. I think I'm going to use maybe the medium ones, I don't know, the just in that small ones to put in the center of every single one of these I thought just well, I think it will look quite pretty and snowflakey and I'm using spirit gum to stick these down but I'm not gonna actually I'm gonna do it on just a few of them I'm not gonna do it on all of them and for the lips I'm gonna do a really big pout with a nice highlight down the center I just thought it might look sweet so I'm gonna use a Barry M coal pencil in number six and I'm just gonna start tracing on the shape that I want Then I'm going to colour that in with a sleek pout paint in, I think it's just called blue. Then I'm going to use a very, very small amount of lip tar by OCC in uh, feathered, which is very, very nearly white. And I'm just going to use that tiny, tiny amount of it just in the centre of my lip and then let it blend itself naturally, just as a highlight. So there we are, so then all that's left for me to do is to pop on my wig, my contacts and my headdress. So there we are, so I finished the look off by popping on um, a really short white wig which I've styled, kind of like a little pixie cut, it's quite sweet. <laughs> um, I popped in two contact lenses which I believe are called Anime Eyes, they're by camoeyes.com, I'll pop the link in the description bar below. Um, and yeah, I did actually make a head piece to go with this. I wasn't sure how I was going to do the look, so I thought I would make this Lady Gaga um, lightning bolt hat, um, which I was going to use to inspire the look, and I completely went in a different direction. But, I mean, you can use it, but I don't know, I don't think it says much about 
winter and snow. I was originally going for angles and making it very harsh looking, but yeah, I think I'm going to do without it maybe. I'll go save it for another look, another day. <laughs> also, obviously, if you're going to go out, you would probably, probably you wouldn't go out naked, but if you're going to do the whole body painting thing, you'd do your hands as well, wouldn't you, I suppose, but I don't like doing it for much at all, otherwise I'd make a mess everywhere, so you can use your imagination for that bit. <laughs> But yeah, so that's my look. I really hope you guys liked it. I hope it fits in well with the collaboration. You guys can decide. Um, but yeah, thank you to the girls for inviting me to do this collaboration. It was super fun and I love you guys so much and thanks for asking. Uh, and yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like it, please make sure to, you know, rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. And definitely check out the girls' makeups because they're amazing. And yeah, so until next time, bye.